Hello everyone, I am Ömer from OFG Animation Studio YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to make a character animation and in this video, we are going to create a character which took a selfie. It will be a very handful tutorial for you. Alright, without wasting your time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Here we are in After Effects, as you see I have created a main composition and the character composition. I have imported the file to do After Effects, as you see this is our Illustrator Vector Graphic. Ok, the first thing we need to do, rigging the arms. So first of all, I hit T to open opacity and decrease the opacity so that we can change the anchor points. Alright, click this arm and choose the pan behind tool drag the anchor point to the up and choose the forearm put the anchor point here again make the same thing for the hand excellent good and select all the layers make the opacity 100 good now choose the hand and parent with forearm forearm should be parented with arm 1 all right very good click window section and open the basal plugin we will use the basal plugin in this tutorial to rig the arm. Excellent. Now we don't need to create structures for the arm, just there is a handy tool in Duik. So choose hand, forearm and arm. Create this auto rig and IK. It will be rigged. And, and as we see, the rig has been done. Very good. That's perfect. Now don't forget to uh, uncheck auto stretch so we don't want to stretch anymore okay good now we will do same thing for the uh, arm to select all the layers press T on the keyboard and decrease the opacity as 50 good zoom in and now we need to change the anchor point as well so come to the arm and drag the now we need to parent them hand or arm and forearm arm again choose hand to forearm to and arm to click auto rig ik excellent we have rigged the arms as you see choose all of the layers and press t make the opacity 100 now we need to change the anchor point for head for body and for neck as well so zoom in and choose pan behind drag the anchor point here and for the neck last one with the body choose the body layer and put the anchor point here excellent that's good we have rigged the character's arm and uh, we changed the anchor point of the head neck and body excellent we can start to do animation now I choose hand hand to head neck body and press P on the keyboard create a keyframe excellent uh, by the way I don't want to see those layers uh, so I choose all of the arm layer and click this icon and then hide all layers good we, we don't need those layers anymore all right uh, now I come to the characters second hand and change the position by choosing selection tool drag here again by holding shift create, press R for the rotation and create a keyframe change the rotation of the phone excellent come to the 10 keyframe and change the position of the arm move the upper location good and change the rotation of the phone Good. Now come to the first keyframe. Make the same thing for the other hand, and uh, we need to create. We need to press R with Shift to create rotation keyframe. And uh, I drag the arm here, change the rotation like this, and come to the tenth keyframe, change the position of the arm. That's a good position and rotation as well 
choose whatever rotation you want. All right, good. Now come to the head. The head uh, should be in this position. Very good. By holding shift, create a rotation keyframe. Come to this angle. Change the rotation of the head. Good. Copy this keyframe and pass it here. But in this position, I want to make a little bit in higher position. Now, okay, very good. Come to the neck and body layer. We, ne we need to change the body as well. Press R for the rotation keyframe and for the neck as well. Uh, change the rotation. Oh, as you see, we didn't parent the arm with the body. So, unhide layers. Choose arm 1 and arm 2. Parent with body. And hide again. Okay. The head should be parented with neck. And neck should be parented with body. Excellent. Now we can change the rotation. Come this angle. For the first keyframe, it will be in this position. In this rotation. Come to the 10th keyframe and change the rotation. Very good. And make the same thing for the neck. Ah, yes. I need to decrease the rotation of the head. Good. As you see, I need to copy this keyframe and pass it here. And this keyframes drag on the timeline. Very good. Now choose all of the layers, all of the keyframes. And easy is, make easy is. Come this position. On the, move on the timeline. Copy this keyframes and pass it. Because we want to be, we want to stay for a little time. Again, go to the 20 and go to 20 and keyframe, copy these keyframes and pass them. But for the body, for the head, the head should have this keyframe as well. So when we watch it, as you see, we have did a great job. He is taking a selfie if you want you can increase the duration between keyframes so i choose all of the keyframes and go to the last keyframe hold alt and drag the last keyframe let's see in this duration i guess that is better all right i want to make the color of a camera shot uh, so i come to the project panel and Create a new composition, name it camera shot. Okay, uh, increase the width 4000 and height 4000 as well. Press Ctrl Y, creating a new solid, name it shot. Good. Now uh, choose the grab the pen tool and make some kind of this triangle. Good. Press F and increase the feather as 100 good and come to the effect and presets search glow and put on the layer increase the glow radius something like for 45 that's good now come to the again to the character and we need to choose this character shot here put them here but we need to open the layers and make those and put this camera shot above the layers good uh, now we need to change the position so first of all close the big vessel first of all choose this anchor point and put it here again Choose this anchor point and put to the center of the triangle. Very good. I choose this camera shot and put this angle. And press R, rotate it. Good. Now I parent this one with arm 2, which is this arm. So when I see it, as you see, the shot is moving with the arm. But I want to press R, change the location. Okay, very good. 
and now I want to uh, make the camera shot so come to the, this keyframe and press T on the keyboard for camera shot create a keyframe make it zero and move in the timeline a little bit and change, change it 45 you can change the number whatever you want make zero we, we want to make a random opacity keyframe Now choose all of the layers and make easy is. Let's see the animation. Excellent. But as you see in this position, I need to move the camera shot close to the phone. That's good angle. Now let's see the animation. Excellent. We have did a great character animation. Who has taken a selfie? Alright, that was the conclusion of this tutorial. Uh, I am sure you find it very useful. And if you want to ask any question, please uh, do not hesitate to ask on the comment section below. I will reply your questions as soon as possible. And if you subscribe our channel and like the video, we will be happy as well. Alright, see you next tutorial.